Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the pattern for my new cat bracelet. So I had done a dog bracelet a few weeks back, and I had gotten some requests for a cat. So this is what I had come up with, and I think it turned out really sweet. So at the top here is a black and white cat, and then the next one is a calico. I have a gray tabby cat, and then at the bottom I have a little white girl cat. To make this bracelet, you can use either the alpha loom or the full size rainbow loom. And I do prefer to make it on the alpha loom for a few reasons. I like that the pins are spaced a little bit farther apart widthwise so your bracelet can grow down a little bit easier. And I also like that the pins are closer together lengthwise. That way your tie bands, those clear bands, don't have to stretch quite as long. And then, of course, you have your alpha comb that has the seven hooks, which helps you loom a lot faster. But I know that not everybody has access to an alpha loom, so you can definitely do this on the rainbow loom. And if you need a little bit more instruction of how to, I do have a tutorial that shows me making an American flag on the rainbow loom that you can check out if you need a little extra help. And you would want to have your pin spaced in line with one another, and then you would just use seven sets of pins that are straight across. And you only have to work with two rows, so you can remove your third row if you want to, but you can leave it on too. It's totally up to you. To make this bracelet, I used 371 total of all of the colored bands, and then 52 of the clear. I did use all of the alpha loom bands for my bracelet, but if you don't have access to them, you can use the regular size bands. You're just going to have to double them. So let me just break it down by each color. I used 65 green, 58 black, 17 pink, 106 white, 2 dark green, 24 orange, 71 turquoise, 28 gray, and then as I said, 52 clear. So here's my bracelet once again, and I'm going to add a grid pattern above my bracelet and then you can just pause your video and then follow along with that pattern. So let me just tell you a little bit more specifics about my bracelet. For this one I used 53 rows and when I measured it it's about slightly less than seven and a half inches in length. So about every seven rows equals an inch give or take a little bit. And if you do have the alpha loom on the back of the instruction sheet, they do include a grid template, so you can use that to help you determine how long you need to make your bracelet. So if you would need to add or subtract any rows, you would want to do that either on the ends, and I have two rows on each of the ends, or then in between each of the cats, and there are two rows in between each of those. I hope that everyone loves their new cat bracelets. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!